Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back to the channel, Bobito. Is that him? No, folks. That is a fence line. That is not Bobito. You're stuck with me. And we are down here with our friends at Auto Collection of Murfreesboro. Once again, their information is on the bottom of the screen. Folks, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know. It's a little windy today. I got my mic covered up the best I can, so I hope y'all can hear me well. But it's a little blustery, so be prepared for that. Now, again, Auto Collection of Murfreesboro, information on the screen. We're going to squeak them out. And now we can talk about this beautiful ride. So this is a 2018 BMW Grand Coupe or sorry m6 grand coupe so 560 horsepower 500 foot pounds of torque zero to 60 in four seconds these things are highly modifiable i've heard of people getting six or seven eight hundred horsepower on a stock block so uh yeah just a couple extra turbos tunes and things and you can be rocket ship this thing i'm sure can do a zero to 60 in uh low threes with those kind of numbers so uh we're gonna do what we normally do and let y'all check this thing out and we start with the key if we can get it to focus normal bmw key it doesn't have an automatic lifting trunk uh, but it does pop it so you can see it is officially open we will start in the rear of the vehicle and there she is and you've got a in the ncc bag for scale we'll do a little zoom out so you guys can kind of check us out um this is it's a nice little area here to store that's kind of cool that's kind of cool. Uh, overall, like this thing has just got, sorry, I put a little mic there so we can see if we can get, capture a little exhaust nose, uh, but enough room. It's not, I mean, it's deep, but it's not tall. So I feel like you can definitely fit golf bags in here, um, but I don't know that you can fit four people's worth of stuff in here, honestly. Uh, now this does have a lock the vehicle button here. Uh, which we're not going to utilize, but you know, as you go to close, usually this is the close the trunk button. It is not as a lock your vehicle as you depart button. Um, the car's a little dirty, but I do like the uh, the exhaust look down here. The rear valance, as you can see, carbon fibre, a couple carbon fiber accents in the interior uh, as well as on the exterior, but really. I don't know if you guys like these cars or not. I love them. Uh, so you got the mirror cap. You've got the uh, slick top, as they call it, but carbon fiber roof. Uh, and then I think, no, it's just a hard rubber. Sometimes they have the carbon lip on the front. Um, this one doesn't. I do like this look, though, this old or older look. It's like, Again, folks, this is a 2018 M6 Grand the Coupe make our way into the rear. I do like that little logoed moniker. Um, this has the automatic lifting my bobber here, the shade, and this is the button that you would press you to do it. The car has to be on, but uh, it does go up and down. And then a window, and then you've got really nice uh, stitching and carbon fiber touches here. Uh, not a ton of room in here. To be honest that is my normal seating position small child can fit back here uh, definitely got a nice cup holder no crazy slouching needed I'll get this open to others where you put your cups um, and then it does have you know the heated uh, seats back here uh, and if you can fit <laughs> and then clearly uh, a whole section for your entertainment or for your uh, your climate control in the back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started up. And hopefully we'll be able to give y'all a little bit of sound. Again, the really nice Parma Card and Stereo. Really like the look and feel and touch of all this stuff. Carbon fiber trim again. Uh, we'll show y'all a little bit more on that, but let's go ahead and get this girl started up. Now, door closed. We are not in AM dynamic mode, but I believe if you press this button, oh, that was not what I thought it was going to be. But all right, so we're in here. Let's give her a, a couple revs. Nothing. nothing 
too over the top and over the rev. Do you, one of the things I do like about BMWs is they do allow you to rev out, uh, which is nice. Um, now let's go ahead and get ourselves into uh, one of these super fancy modes. So we've got M1 mode here. M2 mode. I can't tell if there's, it's, uh, clearly I'm inside the vehicle, uh, but I can't tell if there's a difference in noise. I'm sure there is, uh, but you know. Uh, let's go ahead, I'm gonna leave y'all in here and let y'all check out this fancy interior while I go cut that other mic real quick. Cause I don't want y'all to be beaten up by noise. It does sound good back here. I'll kind of hear that idle. Uh, but anyways, hey, I'm in here. All right, folks. So as you can see, kind of a carbon fibery interior throughout. Get ourselves uncrookified. Carbon fiber throughout. It definitely has some nice paddles here uh, for the transmission. It is the automatic. Um, but man, these things are fast they shift fast so again carbon interior um here's all of your try to make oh sorry uh, dct transmission so here's all your settings to make everything better you know your suspension uh sport sport plus go ahead and get y'all zoomed in there so you can kind of see so we got sport sport plus uh, and efficient and the and the power modes steering mode sport sport plus and, and comfort uh, you got traction control off to kind of cool that I, they've got this nice camera set up uh, inside here and you can manipulate things I guess depending on how and where you want it to be um, we'll throw it in reverse so you all can kind of see the reverse cameras Again, these guys have gone like complete and total overkill with the different things that you can do or not do with this. Um, if you need this much help backing up, folks, I pity, I pity, I pity the fool, I guess is how you would say it. Turn around and look, use your mirrors and uh, you should be good. That's me though. All right, back to the car. I really like this how it's kind of swooping in towards me the driver and swooping away from the passenger uh, it's really kind of a new, unique look very I, li I like it personally um, all of your climate controls are, are here and they're all buttoned out there's still a CD player you can tell this is definitely still a, an older spec vehicle um, geez when that AC comes on it comes on hard uh, but I uh, yeah We'll just heated and ooh, heated and cooled seats. That's nice. Um, I don't know how to get it off. There we go. Now we're not so crazy. Um, no sunroof, so it does have the Alcantara uh, and leather wrap. So you can see leather and then Alcantara off to the sides, and then it kind of goes down the A's and B pillars. Really good looking seats. Uh, real comfortable as far as the drivers and the, i really like the steering with the look of the steering wheel it's really awesome um it's a great car it does have a bunch of the tech th that these cars uh, kind of begin to came with in the era where you've got the uh you know driver assist and the uh lane departure my bobber that they've got here um and then also the adaptive cruise control uh it's definitely not so old that it doesn't have those things um so, which is pretty cool uh, the only thing this has is this weird stop mechanism. There is no actual park. You have to double press to get it to go into park. You know how long it took me to learn that? Uh, a long time. <laughs> so, anyways, all right, folks. Well, back to the wind. <laughs> Super windy out here. Uh, it's about all I got for you guys today. Uh, again, this car is from our friends at Auto Collection of Murfreesboro. You be sure to hit them up. If you're interested in this ride or if you want another ride they got a bunch of really cool rides on their website in the moment they got two locations here in the murfreesboro area their info is on the bottom of the screen so hit them up for my man bo biddle who is that him nope that's a forerunner i am ben barber we'll see you in the next video